uh, 10,000 miles in two weeks and I only make $900. Uh, after I quit, they took back the payment. So I was driving a whole month for free. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have another story time for you. This time coming from Al. I'm just gonna say Al because he has uh, a long name and I can't pronounce it. So we're just gonna call him Al. Al is here to share his experience with controversial company, Super Eagle. He said in one part of his story that they took the money back and he drove for a whole month for free. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is a video just to let everybody know if you have a new license if you don't have a place to drive, uh, be aware of Super Ego Holding, Jordan Holding. Uh, they have a lot of names. It's, 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 it is the same people. It is run uh, as a scam. I drove uh, 10,000 miles in two weeks and I only make $900. Uh, after I quit, they took back the payment. So I was driving a whole month for free. At the beginning, I didn't make any money because I didn't drop more than 4,000 miles. So if you don't drop uh, 4,000 miles, you don't make money. Uh, you only make money when you drive more than legal. They fix the, the ELD for you and uh, they make you they make you drive more than legal if you want to make any money but uh if you stay working with them you will keep the money but if you walk away they took the money away they have six months and it's legal that the company can reverse a payment after six months if it's made so i was working for them for a whole month and i walk away with no money and they took my money from my account once I took back the trailer to the place that they told me to, and I took back the tractor to the place that they told me to, I did everything right, and anyway, they took my money away. So don't drive for these people in Chicago. It's a scam, it's a lot of bunch of different uh, companies. They pay you less, but at least you get paid. Go and start as a company driver, they lie when they say it's a, it's a lease to own. You're never gonna own. They never show you the real recon. So they steal money from their recon plus the money that they take away from, from your payment. If you get a payment. So normally it doesn't happen. Don't drive for these people ever, ever. So, man, what do you guys think, man? I mean, we, we getting more and more and more stories like this from controversial company, Super Ego. Man, I mean, if you, if you guys keep hearing more and more stories like this, should that be a tale? Should that be a tale? I don't know. I mean, as I said before, there are guys over there that are winning with Super Ego. But then there are guys like Al here that literally lost a whole month of settlements. He drove about 4,000 miles or something like that. And as you guys see, they took the money back. Can they do that? Can they reverse, what, what is it, A-C-H? Can they do that? I don't know. 
I mean, if that's what's going on over there, I, I implore you guys to hurry up and, and snatch all money out the bank. But then again, you got to be careful. You know, now that I'm hearing stuff like this, you guys just might want to get a separate bank from your main bank if you're going to deal with controversial companies who be eagle. Because if they going in reversing the ACH, what else can they do? Like, let's seriously, seriously, think about it. Let's say you do take that money out, but then you get some money that's coming in for, from your people or something like that. Is it possible that controversial company Super Eagle can can reverse the pay that they that they initially initiated for you? And let's just say you have about the amount that they pay and they can get it. Right? I don't know. I don't know. But shout out to Al. Um he's no longer with the company. This this is a crazy story, bruh. Uh, I would like to hear more about it. Uh, you was only with the company a short time. So, of course, you know, my audience is always skeptical when it comes to stories like this. But in any case, I, I would like to, you know, hear more of the story. If it's more to it, let us know. Let's get the conversation started have well i know a majority of you said they did but have they took the money back you know this is a this is an interesting story that just came across my board i mean i heard crazy stories about them not paying you but paying you and then take the money back have that happened to you guys if so let us know in the comments below if you guys have a story to tell and like to tell it, we would like to hear it. Hit us up at the Gmail. That's lockout men podcast guest at gmail.com. Make sure that you guys. Who is that DJ like that?